Tennessee is now the first state ever to work with the TSA to deploy a simultaneous counterterrorism operation statewide. News Channel 5's Adam Gassimi was at one of their way station checkpoints today near Portland. Yeah, Vicki, you know, this was a massive operation, really bringing all federal, state, and local agencies together to not only do random searches, but also create an army of agents on wheels. You're probably used to seeing these signature blue uniforms at the airport. Do something, do something. But now, TSA agents are on the interstates fighting terrorism with visible intermodal prevention and response, or VIPER, operations. Where is the terrorist most apt to be found? Not these days on an airplane, more likely on the interstate. Tuesday, Tennessee was the first to do this simultaneously at five way stations and two bus stations statewide. <laughs> They're recruiting truck drivers like Rudy Gonzalez into the first observer highway security program to say something if they see something. Not only truck drivers, but cars, everybody should be in. Be aware of what's going on on the road. It's all meant to urge every driver to call authorities if they see something suspicious. If somebody sees something somewhere, and we want them to uh, be responsible uh, citizens, report that, and uh, let us work it through our processes to. Uh, uh, vet the uh, concern that they had when they saw something suspicious. The Tennessee Highway Patrol is checking trucks with drug and bomb sniffing dogs during random inspections. <laughs> during one today, they found barrels of chemicals on the back of this truck that seemed suspicious. But after checking for dangerous levels of combustibles, it's all clear. <laughs> Good news. The driver had to only secure a loose barrel before getting back on the road with countless other tractor trailers. Homeland Security officials worry one day could be used for terrorism. The bottom line is this. If you see something suspicious, say something about it. Now, the random inspections really aren't any more thorough than normal, but Colonel Tracy Trott with the Tennessee Highway Patrol says it's all in the details, pointing out what, what, what happened when an Oklahoma State trooper stopped Timothy McVeigh for not having a license plate just after the Oklahoma City bombing. Vicki? Adam, thanks. We want to urge you, today's Viper searches did not come from any particular threat. One TSA official says intelligence tells them they should be focusing on the highways as well as the airports.